What's up everybody? Hey, welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling. And today I'm getting ready to show you guys how to make cheesy Southern grits the right way. So with that being said, let's get right into this video. Now, before I begin, I just want to show you guys, if you line out all of your ingredients, go ahead and measure everything. So what you want to do is get yourself some bowls, measuring cups and everything. Once you measure out all of your ingredients and set them up, and then you set up your ingredients in order as you need them, Man, that's what simplifies these uh, recipes and makes it fun again to get in the kitchen and just, you know, to create. That right there, that's that Creole Kick by Sweet Smoky Joe. Over here we got black pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. You guys can see it right there. And remember, all of these are in one tea teaspoon increments. Now, the way you guys see it right here, if you set it up, you remember this is the channel that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. So by me putting all of the dry ingredients right here, when it comes time, I can just insert them. Now, you'll see that normally I use like a lot of little different bowls. You can line them up as you need them in the order that you need them. But this right here is the way it's going down. Super easy. We're getting ready to get right into it. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pour in our chicken broth, heavy cream, then we're gonna add our water, and, we're gonna, and you know, in this saucepan right here, and then we're gonna you know add our butter and season it, then we're gonna go ahead and whisk it and we're gonna use this. Look at this, it's got the rubber on here. Remember, metal is coated. You just wanna go ahead and use the, you know, the rubber so you don't tear up your pan. So, gotta have two, uh, three cups. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put in one. And this is my second one. Now I just said one, that was actually, look, this right here, that's two cups. So two, and then I just added another cup. That makes three. Now for the heavy cream, one cup. Okay, and then by our water, we just add one cup of water. Now, under medium high heat, we wanna bring this to a boil. What I wanna do is just go ahead and open up, you know, your butter. This right here is four tablespoons. We're just gonna go ahead and open and put it in now as everything is starting to warm up under this medium high heat. You remember this? We're gonna go ahead and put this in now. As it's melting, we just want it to all blend and you know take on the characteristics of everything that we put in here in our dry ingredients. So just go ahead and put it like this. Then we're gonna use our whisk. And we just stir it around. You want that butter to melt. So this probably takes about under this medium high heat. Maybe it takes about, I don't know, I'll time it. When we look at it, it probably takes about five minutes just to get it right. And after that, then we're gonna go with that, uh, those grits. I can tell you right now, just standing over the top of this right here, it smells incredible. As soon as you hit it with those seasoning, that seasoning, mm, mm, mm. And a lot of that got something to do with that, uh, that Creole kick. So, we're just gonna let it get a little hotter. And I'll be right back. Now, once you get it to a boil like this right here, just go ahead, stir it up a little bit. Let's reduce that heat. We put it down here. We want something like medium low. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take our grits. And by the way, these are not instant grits. Don't get no instant grits. You're gonna need that original, authentic grits. You know why? Because it's gonna take a little while to cook. You want it to absorb all of the flavor. So, we're gonna pour this in slowly and we're gonna keep whisking. Just like that. You want to stir maybe like a couple of minutes. And then we're going to put the lid on. Then we're going to just let it, you know, cook till we get the desired thickness. It should take about 20 minutes. But that right there, you can see it coming together. I'm just so eager right now to just put that cheese in there, but we're going to wait. We're going to do it properly. We just want to keep stirring it, keep doing it like we're doing it right here. Once you, you know, you're sure, you got everything whisked properly, you don't have any uh, lumps, then it's come time to uh, put the lid on the top. Remember, you wanna turn it down to medium low, and we wanna let it just cook for about 20 minutes, and we wanna check on it about, I'm gonna say about every five to seven minutes, we wanna just check on it, stir it up to check the thickness. Now we're gonna check on it after about 12 minutes, you know, cooking on low. Oh yeah, they're starting to, you know, thicken up, looking good. We're probably just gonna go, I don't know. Or maybe I'll go uh, 
another 10 or 15 more minutes, but I'm gonna check it one more time. Okay, look, it's been another 12 minutes. Let me go ahead and get my pot holder. Open it up. Hey, listen, this is the thickness. This is what I was looking for. That right there. I like mine like that. Listen, it's gonna thicken up just a little bit more once I add the cheese and it sits. But this right here, now listen, if you want yours to be even thicker, you can just cook it a little longer. But now we're getting ready to add our cheese. Hey, what y'all think about that? You know what I mean? We got one cup of cheese. Ooh-wee! No, we're just gonna go ahead and put it all in there. And then what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna keep stirring it. Let this heat, you know, make it nice and cheesy. Can you hear it in my voice, y'all? Just keep working it like this. Now, if you guys watch my shrimp and grits, you know I put two cups of cheese in there. A lot of people was on me about, man, that's too much cheese. But I'm saying this, how could you say that when you haven't even made it? You know, just try it. We getting there. And then when you have the lid off right now, it's letting a lot of steam out. So it's starting to thicken up on its own, you know? So just keep working it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Oh yeah, this right here, these are cheesy southern grits at its finest right here. You can smell the seasoning in there, and really that's all of that, you know, that Creole kick. Oh yeah, there we go. If that don't get your, you know, your mouth watering, I don't know what will. Now we're gonna go ahead and just put some of this in this little bowl I got right here. Ooh wee, look. <laughs> here we go. Don't wanna make a hole, you know, make a mess. I hope you guys like this recipe and now you know how to make cheesy southern fried grits hey i'm gonna let you know i'm gonna have this with some beef smoked sausages so i want you guys to leave me a comment down in the comment section below and tell me what type of bread would you serve this with would you do cornbread would you do biscuits something smothered or, or would you go old school and just go with that toast you know hit it in that broiler with a lot of butter and then come back with that jelly hey you guys let me know hey so listen if you're new to my channel let me go ahead and just say hey thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and like this video and let everybody know out there that there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Hey, with that being said, thank you, and I'm out. Peace.